Sam Darnold. When you're taking a look at his film, what stands out to you? Look, he's got tremendous physical skills, and he's another guy who instinctively can go off schedule and make plays all over the football field in terms of throwing the ball laterally and throwing the ball down the football field. What's interesting to me about him is, though, is that very rarely I saw Sam Darnold in 2017 actually throw the football with good, tight, solid mechanics, even in situations where he had clean pocket throws, and, he, and some of his accuracy suffered as a result of that. Mm -hmm. But he's the kind of guy who can get outside the pocket, throw the ball on the run. He can pick up first downs with his feet. He has a tremendous skill set and has a tremendous temperament. Got to talk to him at the Super Bowl. He's going to go very, very high. He just needs to kind of clean up some of the things that will help him be more consistent as far as his accuracy is concerned. Yeah. Four quarterbacks slated to go in the first round. He knocked off two. Let's go to the third. UCLA's Josh Rosen. Yeah, Josh Rosen is probably the cleanest in terms of his mechanics and how he makes it look as far as playing the quarterback position technically. He's a guy who looks very comfortable working from under center, very smooth in his drops, three, five, and seven-step drops, two hands on the football, classic over-the-top release, very good as far as working through progressions, using feints, using look-offs to try and move defenders. He does all those types of things. Now, what's interesting at UCLA is he's a guy who really liked to throw the football to tight ends and work yeah. the middle of the football field. I had some concern about his ability throwing the ball outside the numbers down the field. We'll see how that goes. Look forward to seeing him at the combine as well. We got a Baker, we got a Sam, we got two Joshes. The other Josh, Josh Allen. What do you see from him? Like I, I blow some people's minds when I talk about this guy in terms of what I thought the very first time I turned on the film and saw him with those long white socks and standing tall in the pocket <laughs> out there. I said, you know what? If you put a 13 on him, like that throw right there, rolling out to his right and throwing the football down the field in the corner of the end zone. Yep. There's a guy who played for the University of Pittsburgh named Dan Marino when he was in college and looked like that with throwing the football. That right there that I'm talking about. He's his physical gifts are tremendous. Can throw the football a mile. Can put it on a rope. When we were down at the Senior Bowl, with Bill and I, you hear the ball going through the air, and you hear that. Yeah. That's what it sounds like when he throws it. Yeah, because coming from so high. The question is, <laughs> can he put it where it needs to be consistently, and can he process information fast enough so teams don't get a jump yep. on him? He made those improvements during the week down there. He's going to be a very talked about, polarizing subject matter when it comes to uh, where is he going to go in the draft because most people don't think you can improve accuracy and I tend to be one of those. All right, ripped right through those. Those are the cliff notes. The Lewis cliff Pretty notes. Pretty quick, huh? Yeah, not, not bad.